Hey guys, D1 here, and I want to welcome you to the deep dive tutorial video of the KBook Promotion software. This video is designed to show you the entire suite of solutions within the KBook Promotion software, and again, will be a longer video as it's going to be a full tutorial video. So let's just dive right into it. So to start off, this is the main members area. What we're going to do is encourage you to join the private Facebook community just by clicking here. And within this community, all you have to do is hit add, and one of our admins will then add you to the group. Here we discuss brand new feature announcements and developments within the Kindle business. So as a brand new user, the first thing you want to do is actually install the Chrome plugin. All you have to do is hit the install Chrome plugin here on the top left. Hit add. Give it a couple seconds here and you can see already installed. Nice and easy. As you refresh, I'll just show you here. Uh, you can see the install Chrome plugin has now been removed and we know that it's been installed properly. So let's move to the first part of the software, which is the um, niche picker tool. What I'm going to do is just type in, let's say Evernote and make sure we are on the Kindle store. Okay, great. So let's say we want to enter the Evernote niche. As you can see on the top right corner here, the KBook promotion software is living here. So what I'm going to do is actually just hit the KBook software. And what it's gonna start doing is actually start pulling all of the information from this Evernote niche. We'll give it a second to load, but instantly, as you can see, it's really giving us some super, super, super valuable information. We can see average sales rank, average monthly sales, the average price, average number of reviews, the average rating, and the expected total monthly sales from all of these combined. As well, we can see a profitability index as well as a competition index. Now, I won't use these as a uh, definite 100% answer, but it does give me an idea of, you know, can I be making a lot of money and how competitive. Very specifically, the competition rating is really banked on uh, kind of a unique algorithm of number of reviews, length of pages, uh, and pricing. But we can see with an average sales rank of 68,000, this is a fairly okay profitable niche. Again, you're not gonna make six or seven or $800 a book, but at a, an average monthly sales of about $100, uh, in my opinion, it's a great, great niche that I would potentially look into. So let's say as a publisher now, you wanna figure out what is the best title to be creating for this Evernote niche. All you would have to do actually is hit the show word cloud feature and our software instantly figures out the top words used within these books. So as an example, I can just see here, of course, the number one word is Evernote, then essentials, then guide, then your, then life, beginners, and so on and so on. So again, off the top of my head, if I was to create a title, it might be something like, uh, you know, Evernote for dummies, um, you know, master your life with this essentials beginner guide, something like that. Again, I'm just trying to throw it together here. But with that title, I was able to hit 10 or eight of these top keywords. And more than likely, these keywords are gonna be uh, highly searched, which means that we're gonna get good traffic. Now moving on, we can also look at the top categories. So I'm just gonna hide that feature, hit show top categories. And we can actually see what the best categories is to be putting our book into. So again, it could be in the uh, Kindle short reads, computers and technology, and then in education theory, and then eventually research. So again, this gives us a nice understanding of where the market's at without having to do two or three or four hours worth of research. Now, let's say we find a book that we really like. I'm just going to say maybe this Clive Aiden's book, um, which I believe is the number three here. What we can actually do is click within the software's grid and actually see the book on a deep dive here. So again, I can see a sales rank, estimated sales, estimated uh, revenue monthly, and so on. Um, what I'm gonna do is, now that I've identified uh, a niche, let's say I'm interested to see um, what this other author has actually published. So what I can do is hit Clive's name, and Clive only has three books, um, which is okay, but what I'll do is I'll actually just use the software again, and now we can actually uh, reverse engineer Clive's profile and see if there's anything else profitable that maybe we should look into. Uh, in this case, again, Clive does really not have a whole lot of books, so maybe I hit back. Let's see if I can find somebody with a few more books. Uh, Troy is no good. Um, 
going to keep scrolling down here. Okay, SJ Scott, prime example. So he's got a huge amount of books, and we really want to see what's been profitable for SJ Scott. So I'll just go to his Kindle edition of books and use the software again. And we'll give it a second here to load all of his book ideas. Now the beauty is, is with a little bit of time, you can instantly really see what other people's businesses have been built out as and then use these as ideas. So we can see his average sales rank is incredible at 9,505. Uh, again, his profitability is 10. Um, but the nice thing is, that, again, we can see you know productivity, confidence. Um, you know We can sort this by sales rank. Sorry, we'll do it as ascending here. And great, so we can see that you know his habit books are doing well, 10 minute decluttering and so on. So this just gives us a huge amount of information. So that's great. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move into uh, another part of the uh, website now, and this is on the dashboard. And we're gonna move into the rank tracker tool. Now, this tool is specifically designed to over time track the books within uh, your portfolio or even track competitors books. So you can see I've actually got two books currently in here. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually click this one and this happens to be my book, Declutter Your Inbox. The beauty is now on a snapshot, I can literally see all of my books without having to go into the Amazon store and then go back to my KDP um, dashboard and then kind of compare notes. I can literally have all of my books in here and I can see over time how my book has done via sales rank. Another nice feature is I can actually scroll out or scroll in or move the graph depending on how far out you wanna see. Highly valuable feature. Currently in my business, I am employing VAs to go on a daily basis and figure out the sales rank. Now I don't have to because I've got this inputted in here and once a day, the KBook software will actually pull the information from Amazon to give you a clear understanding. Now again, if you've got a competitor's book that you want to uh, potentially spy on, same thing. We can just plug in the information and away we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete this book quickly here and I'm just gonna show you how to add the book. So I'll just refresh the page here. We can see that it's just my book again that'll be loaded. And let's say I wanna track this Confident You book. All we do is we click the name, grab the SIN number, paste it in, hit track, give it a second, and boom, now this book is entered into my rank tracker tool. Hugely, again, powerful feature. This gives you an instant snapshot at yourself, your competitors, and really gives you the ability and the information to take action on your books. Again, I can see currently my book is sitting at 152,000. I did run a promotion recently and I also did drop the price of my book. And we can see, you know, it was sitting as high as 500,000 as of the first, and now we can kind of see the book coming down which means I'm doing my job and I may be bumping it up to 299 in the future. Great, so let's keep moving on to the next thing, which is the HTML description generator. Hugely, hugely popular feature right now. So you actually have two options. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you the manual setup first, and then I'll show you the lookup feature second. So we all know that creating a high quality description really helps sell a book. But the problem is with KDP, unfortunately, is that you've gotta publish the HTML it comes back and quite often the HTML is not looking right. What we've done is we've created a live solution where you can on the fly edit a description, see what it looks like, hit one button and it'll actually generate the HTML for you. So I'm just gonna dive right into it. So you can see this is just a basic setup here. Um, and if I was to do this on the fly, this is a headline. If you see at the top here, it actually shows all the text live, you know, live text. Great, now let's say I wanted to add a secondary feature. I could just go to the headline feature, drag this in, paste it, and now I've got headline number two. Now on top of it, I can delete, again I can add, or if I want, I can also drag and drop. So I'll just kind of do this, and great, you can see them switch. Hugely powerful, then all I have to do is scroll down, hit generate HTML code, and you can see right here, now I've got for KDP, and now I've got for CreateSpace. No HTML coding required. All you have to do is, if you can type and drag and drop, you can create a beautiful HTML description. Now, let's say you want to edit one of your own, 
or say competitors even. So what I'll do is I'll actually go to my own book here. And we'll just go Kindle, great. And let's say I want to um, take this description. All I have to do again is copy competitors ASAN or my own, paste it in, hit the lookup feature, and boom, you can instantly see now the same description that I had here is now here. And again, if you wanted to, again, steal my description as an example, all you would have to do then is just start typing in your information and you can see that it's instantly uploaded here. Crazy, crazy, crazy way of not only improving your own stuff, but you can take a competitor that is already converting them well and just take their layout and implement it into your own business. And again, it's just a matter of me hitting now generate HTML code, copy this in, paste it into my Amazon uh, KDP account, and away I go. So that's the HTML description generator. Now let's move on to the next feature, which is the keyword link builder tool. Now this tool is designed to create a custom keyword stuffed link that you can use on your Facebook, on your Twitter, or within any other promotion. If you look here at the top, I'm just going to uh, go to the Kindle store here quickly and I'll just hit search. If you look here at the top of the Amazon uh, screen here, so I searched the word Dewan Bainey and you can see that Amazon actually has a specific link with the keyword Dewan Bainey. Uh, similarly, if I was to do declutter your inbox, uh, you can see I'm the number one book that shows up here, declutter your inbox. This is a very, very highly underutilized tool. Amazon actually looks at this uh, URL and puts weight on the fact that if somebody types in declutter your inbox um, and clicks my book and purchases it, uh, Amazon then kind of does almost like a backlink situation. So what we're doing is we can actually design this keyword stuffed URL for you. So again, all I have to do is go back into my book, copy my ASIN number, paste it, and let's just say declutter your inbox. I hit generate link for the US market and boom, instantly now the software has created a similar link for you, uh, which is identical to the declutter your inbox one. Highly valuable. And again, you can use a pretty link or you can cloak this link however you want, but ultimately this is gonna help your conversion and more importantly, your visibility within the marketplace. Now onto the website submission tool. Highly, highly, highly valuable. So I'm gonna just paste the ASIN number in here. Sorry, that's not it. Just give me 30 seconds here. Now, originally submitting to websites took literally five to 10 minutes per website because you had to uh, pull in the ASIN number, you had to pull in the title, author, um, promotion date, and it became a huge mess to actually manage. What we've done now is actually created an automated submission tool, and these websites will be continued to be added on as we find new websites that fall into the guidelines. So all I literally have to do is hit select all. Again, I paste in my ASIN, and you can see the software has instantly added my name, my email, my biography from Amazon. I can set a start date, a stop date, already pasted my book title, my Amazon link, and my description, book image, rating, all I have to do is set my price for regular and my genre, which is nonfiction. Literally now what's going to happen is all of this data will start to get submitted to every one of these websites. I cannot stress enough the amount of traffic I've seen by just doing this part of KBook promotions. So all I literally do is I hit submit to free sites. I wait a second and you'll start to see it kind of go through here. Now we're not going to wait for, uh, you know, the next five minutes for it to submit, but you can see it, it's literally just going through each one of these websites and submitting. Unbelievable tool that everybody should be using for their promotions going forward. It's free traffic that 90% of people are not doing because it just takes so much time. And originally this was costing me somewhere between 30 to $50 a week in terms of having my virtual assistants go through and submit. Huge time savings here. Now in terms of the Facebook promotion and Twitter promotion, uh, all you really have to do is set up the web scraper. Now, I don't know if my Facebook account is set up here. Just give me one second. Should be good. Find out here. I click the software and I do the open group scraper feature. Let's give it a second. 
Now, unfortunately, I do not have a lot of groups on my current Facebook, but let's say I did. All you would have to do is open up the feature now. We hit start scrolling. It'll start scrolling all the way to the bottom. And then we hit extract data. It'll add it to my CrossFit Facebook category. Again, we'll have a full tutorial on this within the website itself. We save the data and then I can open the group poster. Great, so now that we've actually scraped those couple of groups, I just go back to the Facebook promotion section. I can go test, save this. If I wanna add an image, just a matter of hitting yes and actually pasting a JPEG that's hosted online. So again, it could be even as simple as, oops. Copy image URL, paste it in there, save. If I wanna save this as a template, which would be then saved in my Facebook template, say that we're running a promotion frequently, I can save this as a template and we'll just call this test template, I hit okay. Now I go back to the top to start Facebook poster, give it a second. It's gonna set up on my first group and then all I have to do is hit automatically post. The plugin starts by itself Got to give it a second there. And on its own, it'll just start posting um, the statuses. So you can just leave this and let this run in the background and it will actually post, in this case, test to every group. Um, you can see, there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop the plugin. I'm gonna hit back and I'm gonna delete this because this is not a Kindle group. 30 seconds here. Great, perfect. So that's been posted and I'm going to go back to the website now. Again, stop the plugin. Great, and lastly now we've got the Twitter promotion feature. And this works very similarly to the Facebook feature where it will actually scrape all of the information from your Twitter profile, pull it into the auto poster and then have you be able to post it. So what I'm gonna do quickly again is just show you how it works. Click the plugin open the Twitter scraper. You will have to be logged into your Twitter account. Then all we do is we do the start scrolling. This will actually get all the data. So I'm just gonna do the start scrolling. And you can see it's automatically scrolling the page. Then I just go to extract data. All of the data is now into my temporary category. Save data. Stop the plugin and return to the website. Just give it a second here. Great, so now if we go into Twitter promotion, it's a very similar situation. I can just set up you know, the categories. So in this case, I had the category as temporary, which is where all my people are. Manage all the Twitter handles that I actually have within my setup here with Twitter. So if I feel like deleting handles and so on, I can. I can move handles if I choose to. Um, and, and again, let's say I have like a temporary s situation. In this case, that's what my category is, but I could have uh, 99 cent, I could have free, I could have like a CrossFit group, whatever groups that I decide to mass set up in terms of category. And then I can just have a test message. Uh, again, I can save it as a template or save it specifically. And then it would just be a matter of me hitting open the Twitter poster and hitting post. In this case, I won't send any Twitter messages because I don't have a book that's on promotion. Um, so overall, this is kind of the setup of the features, guys. Again, we'll be adding a ton more features as we go, but this kind of gives you an idea of the total solution that Kbook Promotions is. You've got the niche picker tool, the rank tracker tool, uh, the HTML description generator and keyword link builder tool, the website submission tool, and then Facebook and Twitter. Really, this is an all-in-one solution that is saving a huge amount of time, especially if you start using all of the features. I really hope this helps. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post on this video or hit us up on our uh, Facebook group. Uh, and again, we're really looking forward to serving you guys long-term. This is an enormously powerful software that I know is gonna serve you guys tons. Thanks so much.